hey guys what's up so everybody of us have heard about simon commission and the very famous dialogue the nara that is simon go back it was a war cry of india and 18 years after that britishers left india for good okay so let's just discuss some little background first uh, government of india act of 1919 you must be knowing about it it's also called as montagu chems for reforms so it was supposed to be reviewed in 1909 uh, like 1929 because after 10 years you usually investigate the progress of whether the government schemes have been implemented or not whether the governance structure is there what are the new reforms that is needed but britishers what they did was they decided in march 1927 only let let us see how it is going so because they were in a very hurry because so that the constitutional reforms can be passed and because conservative party which was in power in britain they were afraid that they will be defeated in british elections and uh, much liberal labor party will come to the power and they can grant like independence to india on their own so that was the major issue conservative party wanted them to pass very hastily and ultimately it was the labor party in 1947 that accepted the demand of indian independence so what was simon commission so simon commission was a statutory commission okay and it was planned under the government of india act of 1919 that some 10 years down the line there will be a commission which will be there so that is what is statutory means that it is by law it has been planned and it was chairman was sir john simon okay because the that is why the name simon commission and it consisted of seven members of british parliament so and uh, this is this is sir john simon and why did it came because so that to as as delay as possible in the process of transfer of power from the britishers to the people they wanted to further intensify the communal feelings by talking to opposite communal groups by spreading hatreds by making laws in such a way that the communal violence increases and the gap between the two communities increases communication between the two communities decreases third is to show the people that britishers just to show not actual in in, in reality to show that britishers were very sincere in giving people the self rule but it was indians who could not decide for a consensus on power sharing basically again the divide and rule principle fourth was to discuss constitutional reforms and send recommendations to the british government so this was the fourth point so this is one of the meetings of the simon commission and uh, let us see what was india's response to it how indians responded to it so indians protested obviously nobody likes an all white commission so this is a very common question which is asked in the prelims among Sy- about simon commission is that it was an all white commission all white commission means that there was no indian okay and indians felt that see it your future if somebody else is decide how will you like it right you will not like it unfortunately that still happens in india because our parents decide our future our life partner or uh, what stream you will choose which city you will live everything is decided by parents but uh, but at least like nobody likes at a nation level and britishers did not think that even one indian is capable of deciding things can you see how insulting it is that not even a single indian is so bright and intelligent there were so many indians are mahatma gandhi b r ambedkar they're so learned people they are better than most of the britishers so they think that the fair play will not be there and uh, this idea is the violation of principle of self determination what is principle of self determination that you yourself will decide what your future your country or nation will take like uh, founding fathers of usa will decide right ki what shape or future their country will take also uh, government of india act of 1919 introduced the diarchy to govern the various provinces of british india and this diarchy failed to deliver its results and the nationalist wanted that this diarchy should go away or at least it should be revised now what was the political response so obviously since it was coming in 1927 so congress took a session in madras 1927 meeting and the decision was to boycott it who was the president so commonly this is our president was ma ansari and he decided to boycott the commission at very stage in every form everywhere hindu mahasabha also supported the boycott by the way you should know this and majority of the muslims also supported it and in 1927 muslim league had two sessions one was led by mohammad ali jinnah at calcutta where he completely opposed the commission another one was at lahore and it was by mohammad shafi where he supported the government so all parties except this shafi group of muslim leagues and one justice party at madras were against the simon commission so justice party in south that is in madras also decided not to boycott now simon go back so these uh, slogans were shouted everywhere 
सो द साइमन कमीशन लैंडेड इन मुंबई ऑन फेब्रवरी थ्री नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी एट वन ईयर बिफोर देन दे वर सपोज टू कंट्री वाइड हड़ताल और ऑर्गेनाइज हड़ताल इज अ हिंदी वर्ड फॉर स्ट्राइक वेयर पीपल थिंक दैट दे विल नॉट वर्क एंड दे विल जस्ट अपोज ऑल द लॉज बिकॉज दे थिंक द इनजस्टिस हैज बीन डन टू देम एंड वेर एवर कमीशन वेंट इन द एंटायर इंडिया दे वर लाइक थ्रोन द स्लोगन द क्राइज ऑफ साइमन गो बैक साइमन गो बैक इवन द पीपल लाइक चेज द कमीशन मेम्बर्स इन जीप शाउटिंग स्लोगन्स एंटायरली यू विल सी ब्लैक फ्लैग्स वर शोन एंड यूथ प्लेड अ वेरी बिग पार्ट इन डिट्रैक्टिंग द साइमन कमीशन फ्रॉम दिस असाइनमेंट एंड एज यू कैन सी जवाहरलाल नेहरू एंड सुभाष चंद्र बोस सो दे केम इन टू द फोर एंड दे इमर्ज एज अ यूथ लीडर्स ऑफ इंडिया एट दिस टाइम सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम यू विल सी इमरजेंस ऑफ जवाहरलाल नेहरू एंड सुभाष चंद्र बोस इन द इंडियन सीन देन वॉट वॉज द ब्रिटिशर्स रिस्पॉन्स टू इट ब्रिटिशर्स एज यूजल दे ब्रूटली टेरराइज इंडियंस दे वर लॉट ऑफ लाठी चार्जेस लॉट ऑफ पीपल वर किल्ड इवन सीनियर लीडर्स लाइक जवाहरलाल नेहरू वर नॉट इवन स्पेयर्ड and uh, the worst thing which it is known for is on 30th october 1928 simon commission arrived in lahore because it was like touring all over india to meet all the indian politicians and there was a huge protest in lahore as you can see here simon wapas jao means simon go back and black flags were shown and here the lala lajpat rai you must have heard about lal bal pal so he was the lal of that and uh, so police particularly targeted him because he was the local leader and uh, unfortunately just after 3 weeks he passed away and he died in 19 1928 november 17 so this was it like uh, this led to a lot of backlash you might have seen that uh, bhagat singh these people like shot the person uh, later on and uh, lala lajpat rai also said while he was in the hospital that i declare that the blows struck at me today will be the last nails in the coffin of british rule in india so this was the statement of lala lajpat rai can you see how powerful it is and it actually became true and just after 18 years we got our independence so finally the report of simon commission was published in may 1930 and it proposed the abolition of diarchy because indians also wanted this and it established the representative government in the provinces In 1928, you also had a Nehru report. It was not published by Jawaharlal Nehru. It was his father, Motilal Nehru. And report said that Indian will India will be given a dominion status of complete internal self-government. And Britishers promised that Indian opinion will be taken care of. So finally, as the result of Simon Commission and inputs of Nehru report and other things, Government of India Act of 1935 was passed. And you will not believe it that till today, Government of India Act 1935 indirectly helps run our country. it established representative government at the provincial level in india and it is one of the major source of our current constitution and in 1937 you had the first provincial elections uh, they were held in the provinces resulting in congress government in almost every province but uh, they resigned after 3 years that is another issue and clement atli he was the one of its member who later on to become the british prime minister and he was the one who oversaw the independence of india So thank you for watching this lesson have an awesome day